This is the Chemistry 121 lab safety video for identification of an unknown ionic compound. In this lab, you will be experimentally determining the physical and chemical properties of a set of known cations and anions. With this information, you will then identify an unknown ionic compound that contains one of the tested cations and one of the tested anions by comparing the properties of your unknown ionic compound to the experimentally determined properties of the set of known cations and anions. In this lab, you will be using unknown and caustic chemicals, so safety goggles should be worn at all times. You will be using three caustic chemicals, sodium hydroxide, or NaOH, nitric acid, or HNO3, and hydrochloric acid, or HCl. All corrosive chemicals are labeled with yellow or orange tape. Caustic or corrosive chemicals will damage your skin, so care should be used when handling these chemicals. If caustic chemicals come in contact with your skin, you may notice an itching or a burning sensation. Immediately rinse your skin with water for one to two minutes. The use of caustic chemicals in lab is common. Do not be intimidated by these chemicals, but instead be vigilant of safety hazards and act responsibly. In addition to the use of these three caustic chemicals, silver nitrate is a part of this lab. While silver nitrate will not damage your skin, it will stain your skin for a few days, so use care when handling silver nitrate. In this lab, some tests will be conducted using a well plate. This is a well plate. It allows for experiments to be done on a small scale and minimize heavy metal waste. The well plates can be thoroughly cleaned using a cotton swab at the end of the experiment. Other tests will be conducted in test tubes so the chemical reactions can be observed. Read the procedures carefully to ensure that you complete the tests in the correct container. At the end of lab, all liquid and solid waste produced in this experiment should be disposed of in the labeled waste container in the fume hood. Do not pour chemicals down the drain. The only substance that can be poured down the drain is tap water and pure deionized water. Before you leave, clean, dry, and put all equipment back where you found it, whether it's a cart, a box, or a shelf. Wipe down your lab bench and wash your hands. Remember that a safe lab is a happy lab.